Here's how I bring my old photos that I've shot to give them a really modern feel. Let's get into the video. All right guys, so I shot this video a couple of years ago. I wanna say at least five years or maybe six years ago. And I just wanna show you a breakdown of how I actually came to this point. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this image actually looks like in its original state. And this is the before. And this is how it looked after it. Horrible, right? Well, actually, what happened is when I was doing this actual photo shoot, it wasn't paid or anything like that. It was just me practicing my natural light. And I, I was someone who constantly used flash over and over and over. And I really wanted to get a little bit more practice in using natural light. So this was a shoot where I was actually practicing that. And actually, what I did was I actually chose a really bad photo. And this was one of them. So you can see that this... The lighting right here is very even. There's no direction to the light or anything like that, even though she was right against a wall and the light was actually to her right, which is camera left. So let me just do the breakdown of my edits now. So let's start with the, the main picture. And I duplicated a layer, and then what I did was I used my AI software. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, please get comfortable with using AI to make your work faster and more efficient, especially if you have a lot to do. Okay, so this app is Retouch for Me. You can check the link in the description below, guys. I do have uh, a link in there about to give you guys a discount, and you can use the app for free to try it out. So as you can see here, it, make, it dealt with the skin, and as you can see also, guys, I'm going to put a note on that is you can see how blurry this image actually is because I use my older camera at the time. It was the A7 III that I had, which I'm actually filming with right now, with the Canon 1.4 and the, the adapter, the MC11 adapter, all right? And the focus was just not really good at that time. Anyway, and then I went into another AI software that I use. It's called Rebloom, and I do that just to kind of soften and even the skin tone a little bit more. All right, it's a little bit overkill, yes, but I'm just trying out something new. And then uh, what, I will, uh, what I did now is I reduced the shadow underneath her neck here. And then when I went and do that, I also sharpen her here and a, and a small portion of her eyes. I'm gonna go again, you can see the before and after. All right, and now what I did was I went and I fixed her here, up here, and I'm gonna just take that away so you can see. I just kind of rounded off the edge a little bit more, as you can see there. And now what I did was I did generated fill. I didn't like how this here right here was kind of hanging out. And I used generated fill, and I fixed that. Now, what I did was now I darkened the shadows a little bit more, so I wanted to add a little bit of contrast to the image, okay? And then when I did that again, all I did was I just merge the layer a little bit, and over here now is, I actually came here now and I added this, uh, another software that I used many years ago. This is up Exposure X4. I think they're up to seven now. I'm very comfortable with this old software. I'll just bring it up on the screen so you guys can actually see it. But when I did that now, you can see actually what it does to the image right there. So you can look at the before and after, before, after really like it and then what i did now is i kind of bring down the exposure a little bit more to get get a little bit more, more contrasty and then now what i did was i lift the whites a little bit so i made the whites just pop a little bit more and then now i uh reduce the shadow uh saturation as you can see right here in this part right here it was a little bit too much for me, so I just brought it back just a little bit. And now I did a linear contrast on the image to make it just pop a little bit more. I, I, I kind of lift the shadows a little bit, so I wanted to just bring those back a bit. Now, what I did now is I darken the shadows on here, right there as you can see. It just made the image just look uh, that much better. And now what I did was I created some highlights for her forehead and her hair. Not like a lot, but it's very subtle, as you can see right there. Just a little hint of it, as you can see. Now, let me just kind of go back so you guys can see the entire thing. And now what I did was I bring down the shadow of her hair right here, as you can see. Just to bring that down. It's a little bit too flat for me. And now what I did was I just bring down some hue and saturation once more on the jacket. Just to kind of tone on that yellow because a little bit much for me. So what I did was I creased that sheen on her forehead, nose, and uh, on the side of her face right here, right below her eyes, her cheeks right there. Just to kind of bring that, make it pop a little bit more. Give it a nice like a fashion feel. 
And finally, what I did was I did a color balance on the image. If you notice, if you look at the image, there's a slight hint of green in the midtones and shadows. Kind of cool those down in the color balance. As you can see, the midtone, I added some blue and I did a, a little bit of sand midtones right there. If I go to the shadows, you can see I just added some blues right there and I increased the signs again. And then when I go to the highlights now, you can see that I went more into the yellows just to kind of complement that a little bit. Okay. And then if you look at the overall picture, you now let me just go zoom out here and let's look at the before, after, before and after. And you can see how that looks, guys. Like I said, this is not something that I would, you know, definitely post, but I just wanted to see what I could do with AI to just make a difference with this old photo, guys. All right, so let me move to another image now. Same model, but in a different location. And this is the final product. But I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do an actual edit so you guys can see. Not as intense as the one before, but a little bit so you can see what the before is. This is the before and this is the after. So I'll just show you guys how it actually looks. I'm just gonna remove everything and pretty much I'm just gonna control J. You're gonna see how fast this is, guys. And all I'm gonna do is go come here to uh, retouch for me. And you can see up the heel, dodging and burning, portrait volume, skin tone, eye vessels, eye brilliance, and I come down here. I don't need to touch the, fa the fabric. I could, but I don't need to. All right, and then all I do, I just click on that. Let it do its thing. And that is complete, guys. So if I zoom in a little bit, you're gonna see here how much it has taken care of her skin, smoother skin out, remove those blemishes. And as you can see, like I mentioned before, guys, there's a little bit of the lens at the time didn't focus nicely on her eyes, all right? But anyway, so let's move forward. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna group these, right there, I'm gonna merge the layer once more. Once I merge the layer now, what I want to do now is I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to go to Skyloom Software, Luminar Neo. I'm just gonna go over to the edit section, come right down to mood, and I'm going to come over here to cinematic tone. And I'm just going to look for one that I think I really like. And I kind of like the Santa Barbara. I like the Santa Barbara. What I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce contrast a bit. And I'm going to bring back the saturation just a little bit right there. And I think that is okay for me. I'm just going to apply that. And once I apply that, now you can see it's a very subtle change not too much as you can see there it's not too crazy but that's how i like it i don't like to go too crazy all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to lift the shadows just a little bit so all i'm going to do is going to add a curve right here i'm just going to lift the shadows just a little bit or something like the shadow is not so dark just like that i'm going to merge it one once more once i merge it now i'm going to go over here to my alien skin and my exposure four. Like I said, this is an old version, all right? And now you can see pretty much what's happening here. So what I did was I increased the contrast a little bit, a little bit of shadows, I bring the midtones back a bit, I bring the highlights back a bit, and then what I did was I added a light effect, which is a sun flare. As you can, if I turn it off, you see what that looked before and after, before and after. And all I'm gonna do, just gonna apply that. And right away you can see what that image is actually looking like. Look at the before and look at the after. Let's zoom in a little bit. The before, after, before, after. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll duplicate this, this layer twice, pressing Command J. All I'm gonna do is we're gonna invert it and all I'm going to do, come here, and I'm going to go to Vivid Light. What I'm doing now, guys, I'm going to add a sharpening to the image. And once I do that, I'm going to come up here to Filter. I'm going to Blur, and I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur. And you can see right there. All right, so I'm going to go to about a 2.0. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to select this layer and the one below it. I'm going to press Command-G on the keyboard, and I'm going to change this to Overlay. When I do that now, you can see that a little bit more sharpening. You can see the eyes now coming into focus right about there, right? And now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to merge it once more. I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to add noise right there. I'm going to add some noise. You can see what that's doing there. 
Let's add a little bit of noise. I like to add a little bit of noise at the end of my edits right there. And if you come out now, and so look at the before, what we had before, let's focus on our face, and let's look at the after. Come on, that's a really old image that just made, give it a nice little fashion, modern feel to the image. Look at our eyes right there. Uh, let's, let's take it away again. Before, look at the pop in her eyes. It looks really nice. It looks very natural. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to show you guys the possibility that you guys have to use in AI just to help you with the skin edits and also other little software to kind of help you to bring the, 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 the picture to life some more, guys. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, if this is something that you would consider doing with your older images or even your new images. Because I've actually used this on newer images and I have to tell you, I really love the result. And the thing about this is, you want to be able to be editing your pictures in such a way that it doesn't take away time. Because a lot of times when you do edits like this manually, it takes you hours, guys. If you incorporate uh, AI with your work, you're definitely going to have more time to do other things with your day, whether you want to spend more time with the kids, family, or just go out and hang out with your friends. You know what I'm saying? So if you can use these as a, as a catapult to get you that much quicker to the end goal, guys, I would say go ahead, use it. So guys, like, like I said before, let me know if you guys, what you guys think of this, if there's anything I could have done better, if there's anything that you think I should have tried to do, let me know in the comment section below, guys. And like I mentioned before, with the uh, retouch for me, I'll leave a link down below where you can use a code if you want to try the, 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 um, the software out and also if you want to buy it. All right, guys, catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Peace. Oh.